Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Emily. I'm a mom who loves home decor thrifting and a good DIY project. Today we are making an olive tree. I actually have a whole tutorial where I made a ficus tree. I think that's what they were called. This is actually like the third tree that I've made. I have not filmed them all, but since I, I've gotten a lot of questions about this other olive tree that I've made. And so, you know what? I was feeling inspired to whip up another olive tree for the space. Kind of looks a little bit different than my last one. I am so excited to dive into this tutorial because number one, I think it is such a fun project. It's easy and anybody can really do it. So if you guys want an affordable way to have a really fun big tree in your space, I mean, I could do the exact cost breakdown, but I think this was right around like 40 bucks. That doesn't include the pot, but the stems and cement, I think you can do everything for right around like 40 bucks. Without further ado, let's jump right on into this tutorial with step one. The first thing you guys are gonna wanna do is forage a stick branch. I found we have lots of trees surrounding us. So there's literally like this back field right by our house. And I actually found two possible branches that I worked with and I ended up just going with the one that you're gonna see in a second. So head to a wooded area, find a good branch. I've seen people do this different ways. I've seen people actually just like go to their own tree and just cut down a good piece from a tree. I have seen people combine like two sticks cause they didn't find a good one. Find yourself a branch, that's step one. Here is my stick. It's hard to kind of get in one shot. We're just in the garage here. So I like that it has a couple of branches. Overall, it's really nice and straight. And yeah, I did kind of like trim back a little bit. Um, and I'm sure if I need to, I can trim more. So this is the stick we're gonna work with. I have my, it's five quart bucket. This is what the tree is gonna go in. And then I have some quick crete quick dry cement. You do not need to buy this 60 pound bag. They sell it in smaller portions, but we just got the bigger one because it seemed more cost effective for potential future projects. And then I have some water. So we're gonna mix it up in here and then you basically stick the tree in. So I filled my bucket, uh, you know, about halfway, maybe a little past halfway. Now I'm going to just add water. Okay, this is what it's looking like. You guys, I don't usually do this. My, hu <laughs> My husband usually does this, but we're gonna go with it, okay? We're going with it and I'm gonna stick it in there. got this little chair hammer situation. It is already hardening. It's, you know, not perfectly in the center. It was a little scary to do this without a helping hand. Oh, you know what? That reminds me. I kind of want to like push this up onto the tree a little bit extra. While the branch is kind of curing, I wanted to show you guys the stems and the leaves that we're going to use. So I got two boxes, these are from Amazon, and I basically, I just type in like faux olive tree um, stems and I find the best price that come with the most. A lot of them come with four or five stems. I found this one, I'd never seen it before. It comes with eight stems and it was like $16 a box. So around $30 for all these and I am hoping that it's enough for the whole tree. I just wanna show you guys. When you take them out, it's gonna look like this, but if you take a minute, pull them all apart, it's gonna look like this. What you're gonna do is take this bottom part and you're gonna get, are these pliers? <laughs> you're gonna get some pliers that have like that sharp bit and you kind of cut through the plastic kind of spread it around, cut through the plastic so that you expose the wire underneath. Oh, okay. 
Um, so you expose the wire and then you can literally pull off the plastic. Now it does take quite a bit of <laughs> strength. Not gonna lie, the last tree I made, I made my husband do this for me because he did it so much faster than I was capable of. If you want, you can keep this all together in one branch and just attach this part right to the tree. Or if you wanna kind of um, break them up more. So sometimes what's nice is to cut off, cut them in two, cut them into two and then expose this wire and then you can just have this little branch somewhere kind of gives you more to work with when you're making the tree little update i'm like halfway through i got one box done and i'm working on the next but i want to show you that i'm going through and actually cutting off probably half of the olives so i'm kind of leaving some of the smaller ones the olives definitely give away that it's a fake tree so i don't know i'm leaving some because they're still kind of fun but removing kind of the bigger sized ones. And I think it will just help overall look a little more real. I wanna show you another method I've been using to expose the wire. So this is kind of like already shortened into a smaller piece. And then I just take, I have these really heavy duty scissors and I've been like cutting from the bottom up and just kind of doing that a couple times. Kind of opens it up a little bit and then you can then you can peel away the plastic from the wires and it goes a lot faster. The wire and then I cut off this part. So, you can try both ways like pulling it off or this way. The cement is dry. I don't think I added the right amount of water to mix ratio because it took a long time to dry. But even if you mess up, also my son got into it. Even if you mess up, it eventually hardened and still worked out. I've got my drill and we are just going to drill holes into the tree and then we feed the wire through. Now I am going to take, well, let me just show you, let's see. So it will just slide right into the hole. But one thing I'm gonna do, which I didn't really do on my last tree, is that I'm gonna put hot glue on my wire as I put it in, and then it will just kind of stay in the position that I put it. So that's the plan. on the hot glue is a game changer I didn't really use the hot glue on the last one and it makes a big difference with just getting them to stay in the position you want so like 10 out of 10 recommend hot gluing the stem before you stick it through the little hole it does kind of help to pick like a front of the tree so I'm not sure what my, I haven't really decided I feel like this maybe this I don't know but my last tree, I really kind of focused on like one direction and the tree felt kind of like <laughs> flat. So this time I'm really gonna try and round out the tree and just give it a little bit more dimension. right here and I'm gonna use just kind of like one of the little mini ones it's already kind of splitting so I'm just gonna put some hot glue and essentially I can't do this one handed <laughs> and basically like stick it like this you know but a little better
I drilled a hole right here and I am just going to use the hot glue again and stick, just stick a little stick right into the top of it. I've been working away and I rotated the tree so it was almost like reversed and I thought it looked so much better, which is kind of funny. So <laughs> I think this is the direction that the tree's gonna go. Sorry for all this stuff. Just trying to show you the whole tree here. Um, it's not done. We've got to like fill in some bits here. I think we might need like one here or like one little one here. But guys, it's looking so nice. I wanted it to be a little bit more minimal, sparse looking than the last olive tree I made, which you guys didn't really see, but you've seen it around my house before. Um, so I wanted this one to have like a little bit more minimal, sparse look vibes. So yeah, I still got quite a bit left to play with, which is awesome. Cause I was like worried I wouldn't have enough. tree and I can't wait to show you but I wanted to first show you this pot I got this from Home Depot it's a great size and it was like $25 or something so this is what we're gonna use to put the tree in I put the tree into this beautiful pot now the last step to kind of make this thing look more real if you have your tree where it's kind of hidden maybe in a corner behind a piece of furniture um you know this isn't that big of a deal but that's not always the case and sometimes you can see right into the pot and it looks clearly fake so what i like to do is i've filled this up with dirt before but my newest thing that i'm going to do is use grocery store bags and fill up grocery store bags kind of to the top and then we're going to put like moss and you can actually buy moss pretty cheap at like craft stores but we have tons of moss <laughs> outside and I think I might go get some outside moss for the top of this. I got my moss and so it was frozen outside like it frosted over last night so the moss stayed together so nicely. I actually got this huge piece and so I used the huge piece and look how good that looks. I have a feeling you guys will tell me if this is a bad idea, like if it's gonna rot or something like that. You guys will tell me, I know you will. So, you know, this seemed like a great idea. We'll find out. Maybe it'll just dry up really nicely. The tree is done, as you can see. Are you ready for this final reveal? Here it is. I hope you enjoyed today's olive tree tutorial. I love this DIY project, which is probably why I've done it twice on my channel now. It's so fun. <laughs> I don't know what it is about it that I find so fun and soothing and peaceful and like feels like some sort of awesome art project that you would do in school. And it's just so fun and so rewarding. And the end result makes such a great statement in your home. I love it. I want to make another. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. As always, you can subscribe for more of my everyday life. Follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith.home. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye!